is Monday in my world. Very easy Monday today. I had my outdoor clients and I came home, edited day seven. It's getting confusing about what day it is. And now we're gonna do a little multitasking because I have a ton of like administrative work that I have to get done today, but I also wanna film the main chunk of today's video. So while we put on our makeup, we're actually gonna go back and look at three like pretty old videos that have to do with nutrition. It's like about nutrition advice that I made and we're gonna comment on them. <laughs> okay, so the first video is called Tips to Increase Your Protein Intake, How to Calculate Your Protein Intake. Going for the SEO there. <laughs> My first tip for you is to make sure that your carbohydrate sources are also high in protein. One of my favorite ways to do this is by eating edamame pasta. This is a really, actually, I stand by this tip. So when you do choose your carbohydrates, trying to make sure that they do have a significant amount of protein in them. A great example of that that we've talked about is beans. And something that I'm recommending right here is a bean-based pasta. The mistake that I make, and I know this because I got a lot of comments about it, I didn't make it clear that like, you could also just eat edamame. Like, it doesn't have to be like edamame pasta, right? You could also eat lentils or lentil pasta or black beans or black bean pasta. The tip could have been better if I had explained it a little bit more. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling with all of these videos, I think I was very into like affiliate links. Guaranteed the link to this is an Amazon link where I get like, I'll get like a penny if you buy it, but still. So I think that that was part of the reason why I said edamame pasta rather than just edamame. So I know a lot of us have heard of Bonza, that's like the big brand and that's a chickpea pasta and that is a great resource, but that protein content is actually a lot lower than edamame pasta. Pasta. If I'm remembering correctly, a uh, chickpea pasta usually has like maybe 10 to 12 grams of protein per serving. And then edamame pasta is gonna have up to 25 grams of protein per serving. Again, totally true. Um, edamame is going to have a slightly higher protein content than chickpeas per like serving. But I, again, I'm making it sound like it's the pasta, not the, the source, anyway. If you do wanna try this, but you're not totally sure about the texture, go half and half to start. Make some normal pasta, make some edamame pasta, mix them together. This is actually a great tool for a lot of things. Like if you wanna do cauliflower rice, but you also want the texture of normal rice in there, mix them together. So you're gonna get more of your veggie and your carb in there. It's actually a really good tip. And this week, I am probably gonna use up the last of my rice, and I also have some cauliflower rice in the freezer. I'm more than likely going to put them together and just like really stretch out that rice. Second tip is to pre-cook your protein for the week. I stand by this one. Okay, I thought this was gonna be really cringy. It's not that bad. I highly recommend doing this because it's gonna take the work and the guesswork out of your week. I talk about this a lot with my nutrition clients, but part of the reason why we don't achieve our goals is because we have too many decisions to make. So by the time it comes to our food and we've made a thousand decisions at work with our family, with our pets, and we just wanna eat something, we're gonna have decision fatigue and we're going to choose the easiest thing. So why don't we make it easier for ourselves and just have it already pre-cooked in the fridge. That is actually really true. Like how often do you get home from a long day of work and the last thing you wanna do is figure out what to eat, make a meal, let alone decide on what the meal is gonna be, right? So if it's already decided for you, and like I talked about in the first video about ingredient prepping, for me, the hurdle is making sure that things are pan ready. Is everything prepped so that I can throw that shit in a pan and reheat it? I don't really know where I'm going with that sentence, but you get it. And my final tip is supplements. So I don't wanna like beat a dead horse because I know I've talked about this in like every single video, but a really easy way to increase your protein intake is is by using a protein powder. So I used one in my smoothie this morning, and the one that I always recommend to people is gonna be Organifi. Just a heads up, I am an ambassador with them, but I wouldn't be if I didn't believe in their product. I made a video a number of months ago where I talked about like partnerships and sponsorships and things like that that I am proud of, that I'm no longer proud of. In terms of a protein powder, Organifi's is, um, it is great. I don't really prioritize their products anymore because I have created a really good relationship with Gainful. And I think that it's kind of weird to be like promoting multiple protein powders. I don't know, but I will give myself credit. I say right off the bat, I'm an, advan I'm an ambassador and I get a kickback from these. Okay, next one. 
one. So this is called Top Tips to Eat Healthier, How to Stay Consistent with Your Diet. Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I've got some nutrition tips for you. Specifically, I have three big tips that will help keep you more consistent with whatever your nutrition goals are. Tip number one is to make your groceries as consistent and easy as possible. So what does this look like for me? I order from Aldi via Instacart every single Saturday, and then I have them delivered every single Sunday. I simply just make it part of my weekly routine. Because I've instilled this as a habit throughout my week, it is a non-negotiable. It's just something that I do on Saturdays, and then the groceries come on Sundays, and then I am less tempted throughout the week to order takeout. I stand by that tip. Ooh, the hair. <laughs> yeah, the more that you can make your, your grocery routine, again, whatever that looks like to you, however you can make it part of your routine is key. You know, with a lot of my clients, we'll literally be on a call, and I'm like, okay, what's your grocery plan for the week? Let's pull up your schedule, share it with me, let's find a time where we can carve this out. And it might seem really like silly and tedious at first, but honestly, to build that habit, it does take a little bit of thought at the beginning. Treat your grocery shopping, your ingredient prep, whatever you have to do to nourish yourself during the week, treat it just like a work commitment. Tip number two is to prep as much as you can. So specifically there, as much as you can, like that is the operative because that's gonna look very different for everybody. Let me show you what I like to do. Hello, happy Sunday. I don't think I've ever filmed anything in our new bedroom, like since we moved. So right now I'm gonna to take you through and we're going to prep everything for the week. So let's do it. Okay, we're gonna skip ahead because this whole portion you've seen me do now twice this week, just, uh oh just with different ingredients, but I'm doing ingredient prep, right? And then tip number three is to get your go-tos. I have my go-to breakfast, my go-to lunch, and my go-to dinner so that when I'm busy and when I have decision fatigue and when I wanna think about it, I just make that. So I'm gonna share with you like a few different meals here and there that are kind of within my go-to range of things. And you're gonna see that most of these meals do have a nice representation of carbs, fats, proteins, and vegetables. It's not always perfect, but that's always kind of the goal to get those four, like the big four in there. All right, and then we're just going on to some different foods that I eat, but you guys see that this entire time. I think the cringiest thing in this is some of my editing, but otherwise I think past Justina did a pretty darn good job. I've said in other videos where I've like gone back and watched past content, I think it's good to do that sometimes because you wanna be able to learn from yourself and you wanna make sure that you're growing and you wanna make sure that you're keeping yourself in check. So rest of the day, oh my God, I'm gonna burn myself. Kev and I are gonna go on a little walk at one. I, I have a 5K to run in six days. Here's my dilemma. I should run today. I don't really know if I'm up for it. Maybe I should just try, like put on a 15 minute run and see how I do. But like tomorrow and Wednesday, it's supposed to pour rain. So then I'm left with, I'm left with no time to train. And again, I've already run a 5K. And, and at this point I've put in so much training. It really is like, you know, it shouldn't be terrible, but I don't know, I'm getting a little nervous. And we know what happened last time I got nervous before a race. And besides that, lots of admin work. We have our Moulin Rouge karaoke cardio class tonight. So I'm very excited about that. All right, let's keep on going. All right, it's about 4.30. I've got an hour till I teach my class, and then I've actually already taught this class multiple times. I already have it filmed, so I don't have to do that. So honestly, like, I don't, I don't have any more footage for you guys. So we're just gonna wrap it up here. I feel like it was probably a long video anyway. And it's time to check donations. I realize this isn't nearly as exciting for you as for me because <laughs> You can see the donations right on the side, but I still like doing it. This part of the video is for me. So far we have raised, oh, we've got a jump, $2,313.93. That's over $1,000 more from yesterday. Did someone hit tier three? 
<laughs> oh no. So we're going to sign off, get prepared for tonight's class. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're actually going to be talking about calorie intakes on a low budget yet nutritious diet because I have been getting some questions on if I'm actually eating enough to sustain my daily movement. So I'll leave you on a cliffhanger there. Make sure you guys like this, comment, push it in the algorithm, share it with people if you can, and I will see you all tomorrow.